Hello everyone and welcome to Meditations on the Porch. I call this poem, Abusive and Depraved, The Bidens. And before I get started, just a reminder that when he was um, campaigning, when Joe was campaigning, it was all about getting everyone together and uh, eradicating uh, racism. And it doesn't matter if you're Republican or a Democrat, or I'm here for all of you, and, and so on. And what has happened is the, the complete opposite and more. And some of the quotes in this poem, and they are quotes, are frankly embarrassing and appalling. So um, I'll let the poem speak for itself. Again, it's called Abusive and Depraved, the Bidens. Jill compares Hispanics to breakfast tacos, while Hunter is on video weighing his crack. Joe insults Israel by honoring the Holocaust. Good luck walking this one back. Joe snaps at reporters by quoting the wrong statistic. Jill exposing her senile husband to this abuse. She is so sadistic. Joe falls off his bike while stopped with one foot on the floor. Need I say more? Yes, I'm keeping score. Hunter paying for prostitutes to cross state lines. This moron is videotaping all his crimes. It's a close call on who has the least amount of brains. The consequences are Americans are in pain. The United States is going right down the drain. Jill had a three-star general suspended because of a tweet. Hunter says she's a vindictive C-word. Isn't that sweet? Wouldn't it be nice if we can just delete this corrupt, depraved, and brainless family? It's plain to see. They are destroying our country. Creepy Joe touching and sniffing young girls in video after video. Hunter refers to his father as Pedo Peter, a fact that we all know. There are pictures of Hunter with a crack pipe in one hand and the other hand on his... <clears throat> he is truly sick. Joe and Jill must be so proud of their son. Pictures and video all over the internet, but the fake news wants you to forget, not showing a single one. Jill always telling Joe what to do. We can all see he doesn't have a clue. These evil people don't have any feelings. Joe lying about any knowledge of Hunter's business dealings. 10% held by H for the big guy. With this treasonous family in the White House, we can kiss our country goodbye. To top it all off, we found his daughter's, Ashley's, diary, afraid to speak up. This traumatized woman is stuck at a young age forced to take showers with Joe. The immense damage inflicted by this old f we will never fully know. Thank you.